everyone. Thanks so much for joining me here today as we talk about one of my favorite subjects, comic books. I love talking about them. I love sharing them. My name is Jose, and we're going to be looking at Thor 348 from 1984. And I really hope, so hopefully we'll also do 349. But these stories are pretty packed. I like to try to keep these videos um, within a limit. So it just depends. So we may only do 348. But if time allows, we may do then 349 and at least get two issues done. So great cover by Simonson here. And unfortunately, he does not ink this. So um, this is his normal um, inker that he uses um throughout most or th at least through the early parts of his X Factor run Bob Wycheck and um he does he does write it and then John Workman of course does the great lettering so Malekith is uh, about to open the casket of ancient winters um Roger here can see or is starting to be able to see uh he says the steel plate in his head has dispersed enough of the uh, magic that was making him blind, but he's only got one bullet. So he sees Melody, he sees the casket, so he is going to uh, make a sacrifice. He says it may cost him and Melody has their lives, but he, they can't open the casket. So um, he takes aim and fires. Um, and he does hit Malekith in the arm, but the casket is falling, and if it's destroyed, um, the fairies will all die as well. So Wormwood here does manage to um, catch it, and he knows that Roger's still alive. So he says, go uh, get him, um, but bring him alive, because I need to know why he can still see. But because he's injured, he's not able to complete the ritual, needs a little time to heal so um once they find roger he says um he'll teach him to regret i love this the just the head and you can just still see the um this around so um so we're back to thor who was falling so he was unconscious but the heat from the uh, magma is awakening and so he calls on Mjolnir to come to him so that he um, can get out and sees Algrim disappear and he's going to be next. But Mjolnir, of course, does show up and Thor um, catches it and off he goes. Now he's going to go get even with uh, Malekith. And so... Um, these these stories just sort of move um, from scene to scene. So if I have all the videos, so if this is your first video, you can go to the playlist. I have the Simonson Thor run. So you can start from the first one, 337, and catch up. But last issue, we had these ladies, the Norns, who basically told him that uh, this was destined. And he, these threads are the threads of everyone that is alive. And when the threads are cut, they die. And he even shows Odin the thread of Odin. So they give him his thread and said, if you want to die, then just cut it. Only, as soon as he grabbed it, he gets put into uh, this uh, tapestry. And inside, he's um, uh, not trapped, per se, but all these um, fabrics are now are kind of woven into him. And he sees all the lives that he couldn't save, all the lives that he saved, um, all the lives he's changed, everything that he has done... Um, it hasn't just been him, you know, just callously killing people. He saved lives. He's 
He's done stuff. He even sees lives he could not save. Um, and he, this kind of opens up his eyes that he's no longer going to be just, you know, being depressed. Um, he suddenly, all these, uh, he sees a figure here talking to him and um, everything vanishes and he's now back on his horse and he is going to return to what he was, um, a mighty warrior. Helps him. He doesn't recognize him because Volstagg's the one. And uh, they're going to head to Asgard. And so, back on Earth. Or not on Earth. We're in the realm of the fairy, um, which they traveled from Earth. We got Roger again. So Roger's walking through the caverns, finds his hat, and thinks of Thor, hears a rumble, and out comes Thor. Um, great, another great panel here. Um, and uh, asks, basically, um, what happened, and uh, he tells him that uh, Malekith uh, got the casket. Meanwhile, Malekith is searching for them, and he feels him, and sees this here in a um, in a shadowy figure. So we sort of can know something's up. So he basically says that he's going to keep him alive. He's going to be a slave to the fairy, um, and uh, that he's releasing his uh, master from. Odin's imprisonment and uh, gonna give him his last sensation as a free man only it was Thor, not Roger and uh, the two begin to fight Malekith is a shapeshifter so he changes his shape and uh, Thor starts wailing him with a hammer and Malekith um, uh I don't know whether or not... I think he just knocked him out. Um, not... I know he doesn't kill him, but uh, I don't think he disappeared. So, um, And then Thor wants to uh, find uh, Melody. And so, we return to Asgard. The army that Odin needed has been assembled. And Odin orders that his armor be prepared because they're going to war. Um, great uh, use of perspective. Um, man, Walt Simonson, he's, he's just amazing. He is one of my most favorites. So um, I hope you really enjoy his artwork because um, it's really cool. Um, if you... He's on Twitter, he's on Facebook, he's on Instagram, so uh, he posts his work a lot, so give him a follow. So, back in the realm of the fairy, here's Melody. So she's being guarded here, but Thor quickly dispatches them and rescues Melody. Uh, Roger's coming there, and she's like, oh no, he's going to try to kill me and get rid of him. And Thor's like over my dead body essentially <laughs> he he says um to thor that that's not melody he uses his gun and uh, which is made out of metal which hurts them and turns out it was wormwood and look at thor just now he's mad and so he throws his hammer and knocks him out he uh, does find Melody. Um, she was hidden as a boulder. And here come all of Malekith's warriors. He throws his hammer, makes it very bright. They all run away from the light because they're dark elves. And uh, Thor finally has Melody. And he makes a really good point is that... Uh, how does, you know, they don't know who she really is. So they're like, well, she went to Sigarden. I had no idea who 
that he was Thor, so how or that you know how does she know that he's Thor? So Malekith, of course, says Thor forgot about me, and so he uses that moment, grabs the gun which is hurting him, and then throws it toward the casket, um, destroys it, and it shatters, releasing the winter. And as he awaits, um, freezing the portal, and then he uses his sword to break it. I love this doom. This has been the whole thing since issue 337. Walt Simonson has been, you know, planning for this. And Surtur has now been released. So... We are going to go ahead and do our, the next issue, which is 349. And this is the origin of Odin. Well, essentially the origin of Odin. So they're escaping the realm of fairy. And you can see they bring Malekith. He's got everybody with him uh, on this vortex. Winter is now hitting everyone, all the realms which includes Earth. Uh, Walt Simonson goes back to inking himself. So he does the entire art. And John Workman does the wonderful letters. Um, he opens up a portal to end up in Melody's apartment. And um, uh, basically Thor tells him now that the um, casket has been destroyed, he won't get the long life like his dad did, and he's like, he's okay with that, because that didn't make his father happy. And Melody says she always knew it was Thor, because that couldn't, um, this guy didn't work on him, but Roger says, I don't think so. Um, he's gonna, uh, call Asgard because he needs to call in sick, um, or basically a reason for why he's not showing up, but he wanted to talk to Thor because he suspects something from Melody. Um, Melody asked to see him, so Thor's gonna make the call and says he has to work with Nick. And so um, Jerry here says, well, if he's with S.H.I.E.L.D., he probably isn't Spider-Man. I wonder if he's really Captain America. So he still suspects he's everyone except Thor. So, um, she basically enchants him and gives him a kiss, and he's not able to, um, speak. He can't actually say anything. So, um, Roger, um, goes in there and, uh, he makes a mess and, um, asks for a paper towel. She says it's in the kitchen. So, he's looking for that potion that, he uh that she made and he finds it so he throws it out and gets some honey as a little bit of water to kind of make it and then uh she thinks it's it's really the thing so um she of course is saying that the more he drinks the more dependent um and the more in love he will become and so we're now back in asgard and with uh balder and Agnar returning. So Balder needs to speak with Odin immediately. He asks Agnar to watch or to um, stable the horse and runs toward uh, Odin. And he tells him about the vision that he saw that uh, something's going to. The Norse showed him a vision that he, they're going to attack. Something's going to happen to Asgard, basically. Um, Odin says this confirmation. And to summon his most trusted advisors. He's going to recall Thor and, and bring him back. And he sees him with uh, Melody. And he's angry because he can't believe he's falling for yet another mortal woman. Of course, Jane Foster being the first one. And... Um, <laughs> so, Thor is going to be returning to Asgard so he can see all this that he's going to be returning and so he doesn't need to recall him and um, he's bringing Malekith with him and then Thor 
or sorry, Odin notices that even though he's calling her Melody, it's actually Lorelai, the Enchantress's younger sister. And he says uh, he apparently doesn't know that it's her um, and calls her Melody. And he's like, a wonderful jest. And he won't interfere in that relationship because she's not mortal. So, um, so long as he's not trying to, you know, get with another mortal person, he'll leave it alone. And I love this part. And a son should have some secrets from his father, even though he knows what's going on. So, so Thor um, returns to Asgard. Heim, uh, Heimdall greets him and tells him everyone's gathering. Um, Thor um, goes to the throne room where everybody's been waiting. And uh, he drops Malekith off at him. And uh, um, Thor basically tells him, you know, what he did. That he destroyed the casket and that he has released the winter. He says Malekith is a fool for believing that Surtur was going to give him a reward. So, um, Thor greets Balder. He's uh, glad he's returned. And so, Thor is gathering with um, his, his uh, warriors. And he is essentially going to tell them who the creature is or who's coming to attack Asgard. He's basically telling everybody everything that's occurred. Um, Hugin, uh, one of the ravens, has been killed. Muning has returned. Um, Thor captured Malekith. And, you know, everything, basically. Um, what, what, what Baldur uh, witnessed. Uh, and this is Thor's mother, um, Odin's wife. So, you know, he he, he continues that... Um, the Warriors Three got everybody ready to go for battle, and so we are going to start basically the origin of Odin. And so these, one of these, I don't, I don't know which one it is. One of these is Odin, and the other two are his brothers. Um, before we turn the page, I got to tell you, Walt Simonson, great. Um, good. I, I I love how he. Um, uh, costumes, I guess. How uh, the costumes that he puts on Odin—they're so grandiose. Um, I believe Jack Kirby put him in like a different costume every time. He was just always, every time Odin showed up, he was wearing something different. So, I believe this is Odin, and these are then his two brothers. I think Odin was the youngest. Odin's basically saying how young they were and inexperienced. Um, they were the sons of Bor, the grandsons of Buri. Um, so the brothers are v uh, Vili and Ve. So, so essentially what's going on is that they were going to the edge of of the nine worlds to uh, Muspelheim to see basically all these uh, land legends. Um, but I love this uh, cavern. Looks like a mouth that's ready to gobble them up. Very cool. Samson is absolutely so great. So they go into the land of fire where they're greeted by some of its warriors and they're going to take them to their master who appears in the center of the lake and he salutes them for the courage that they have uh, shown coming to him. He knows who they are, the sons of Bor. And they ask, is it true that one day you shall destroy the nine worlds with fire? Maybe Surtur is here because it's been hot as hell um, this month. It's been the hottest month ever recorded uh, in July of 2023 is when I am 
uh, recording this. So maybe Surter's already here. But regardless, he says yes. This is the blade that we will I will be using to destroy when the time comes. And uh, Searcher, he says he was the first cre creature in the universe and will be the last. And he will use this eternal flame, which cannot be extinguished uh, by the, the fates decreed it. Um, so at first they think um, that they would... Uh, break his sword and put out the flame and you know he's laughing but like I said um, the fates decreed that the flame can't be um, but as he says as for the sword try to break it and he attacks them and so one of them uses his power to create cold and they merge to become this like a transformer almost so I wonder if um, Simonson was inspired, um, by it, but they basically all three form this, this dude right here is all three and they fight with Surtur. Very great, great panel right here. This just amazing, um, man, Simonson, great stuff. So they, uh, um, are separated, um, their fusion. Um, so they said the, they, they broke the sword, but they know the sword can, he can reforge it. So they're going to steal the flame. And so they said, catch it little brother. And so they run. Surtur is not happy. He says he will have his revenge. And so they're almost out. And Odin realizes he's alone and they said, um, Odin basically says, you know, why do they hesitate? And they're like, all right, it's here. Um, if we go with you, Surtur will enter the Nine World and seek us out no matter where. So it's best that they uh, deal with this. And they ask that he rule wisely the realm of their fathers and that they give him the future. And with that, they collapse the uh, entrance to trap Surtur in there. And then he receives their power. They gave up their power. So now Odin has the 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 power of the three. Are now just in Odin himself. And then oh, look at this. Great, great panel by Simonson right here. Oh, goodness gracious. So Odin says, you know, he has all the power in the universe. But it wasn't enough to save his brother and he knew that if he opened the wall once again it would open the world to Surtur so he, he had to s and that their sacrifice would have been in vain and then regrets ever going to the land and so Odin basically says you know Surtur's coming he's gonna try to ignite his flame and he needs all the help that they can create another great panel just and he needs a warrior whose uh, courage and power are equal to his son which is of course better Ray Bell returning once again the panel so good Simonson signed it so um so great stuff so Hope you liked it. This series with uh, by Simonson is just so good. So like and subscribe and thanks for listening.